Good morning. Happy Friday. I am very excited to share with you some amazing news. Today, we have a student named Vedic, and he shared with us all about Diwali. His family and friends came in, and they put on this amazing presentation in the library. And I'm going to share a video clip. You'll see that attached to this email and all about Diwali. And it was just so wonderfully done. I cannot wait for you to watch it. Last year, they sent me a book and I read it. So you'll see on the YouTube page, the book from last year. And this year, they sent me a new book that I get to read today. Um, Diwali is actually celebrated on Monday and it's a festival of lights. And so when you watch the video, you're going to learn more about it. It's an amazing presentation. And I hope you can encourage your teachers to take you on a tour of the library. It's open through this afternoon and see the Diwali exhibit in the library. It's just gorgeous. So I thank Vedic and his family and friends for coming in and sharing all this information. We definitely learned something new today. Remember when you don't know about other cultures and other traditions, they sound very different at first. But as we watched and listened, we found so many things that we have in common. Maybe we have we have special foods that we eat in a celebration. We have certain sayings that we sell what we do in celebration or activities that we do. So we're not as different as it may seem. It may look different. The main name may be different. But there's always things that we can learn about and grow from and find things that are the same and different in all the different cultures. So I cannot wait for you to learn more about Diwali. Today's book was given to me by Vedic's family, and it is Lilu Makes Dias. I hope I said that right. It is that time of year, Festival of Lights Diwali. Hi, I'm Lilu, big sister of Little Cuckoo. My art teacher taught us how to make Diwali Dias at home with ease. Little Cuckoo said, I want to make one too. Let me help you, please. Sure, I need all the help as Diwali is approaching fast. I'm glad my little brother asked. Dias are made out of clay, but I could use wheat flour too. That's what my mom and teacher say. Little Cuckoo is counting the number of dias we need. In the meantime, I should gather all the things I need with speed. I need wheat flour, water, oil, and an oven for baking, some beads, mirrors, glue, colors, and a brush for the dia decorations. I am planning on making. In the flour, add a few drops of oil and a little water, little by little. Knead the dough to make the type ball so our dias don't turn brittle. Divide the dough in equal parts, each the size of a dime. Little cuckoo, we don't need the colors in the brush just yet. There's still time. Take some dough and shape it like this, then pinch the tip and hope you don't miss. Awesome job, little cuckoo. You nailed the shape. Mom's helping us with the baking prep. Preheat the oven and place the dias on the grease baking sheet. Hope they turn out nice. That's all I wish. Yippee, here come the dias, all baked and hard. Can't wait to paint them and show on this Diwali card. And you'll see these in the library. They left some of these in the library. They look just like the ones we baked at school. Shall we wait a little and let them cool? I will color my dye a yellow, little cuckoo said. I'm thinking of all the colors through my favorite, though my favorite is red. I will color my dye as yellow, red, purple, and green. I should keep my hands steady so that it turns out nice and clean. Phew, almost done. Now comes the decoration. Let the dyes dry first, then we glue beads, mirrors, sprinkle some golden dust. Mom said oil and cotton wicks are the things you forgot. Oh, what will I do without my mom, I thought. Yay, we learned to make dyes, lantern, lattos, and rangoli. Now we're all set to celebrate Diwali. Oh, Diwali at night looks so pretty. Our dyes are adding to its beauty. And then they have directions. This book will be in the library for you to look at and read. Thank you to Ms. Rodriguez for um, helping to arrange today. It was such a great um, lesson and celebration. Thank you to Vedic and his family and friends for coming in today. Please take a tour of the library before the end of the school day and see how beautiful it is. It's truly gorgeous. It's truly interesting to learn about other cultures and things that are special to them and things that we have in common and things that they do differently, but it's so great to learn. It is truly a beautiful exhibit. And I'm so incredibly grateful for the time and love and care that they sent, that they spent with this project. I hope you guys have a great Friday and a happy weekend and happy Diwali on Monday. I love you.